What's going on, everybody? My name is Heems. I am the host of your show, uh, Doing Dope Shit. I'm your co-host, Augusto Kong. <laughs> it's Big <laughs> Wall. <laughs> What's going on, people? How y'all feeling? I'm feeling. I'm. I'm feeling. I'm you're feel, mad, I'm, Dickie. I'm you're mad. mad. <laughs> I'm mad. Y'all niggas is pissing me off already. Y'all niggas is pissing me off. But so I, before yeah. the episode started, we all did Let's rock preface. paper scissors. Rock Sick. paper scissors to see who's uh-huh. gonna be the angry one this episode because Ridiculous. there's always one. Well, we got a preface, <laughs> don't we? Are, so. Like what did, what did it call it? The caping or what you was the the take back part of the episode where you take back something you said on the previous episode? <laughs> Isn't that, that oh. what do they call that? I don't know, Resending. but I know what happened. The Resending. What? Resending, whatever. Yeah, I, I already wrote that in the description and, that oh. we rescinded our, our opinions. Okay, okay. About yeah. what? The Beyonce shit last episode. Yeah, but we got to address it on the next episode. I mean we can address it. Last episode, <laughs> uh, if you haven't watched it yet, me and I'm just gonna speak for myself. I went in and said that Beyonce doesn't necessarily write any of her music, nor does she have a big hand in creating Ivy Park. Um, later, people who watched the episode definitely let me know how wrong I was, then gave me the facts to look, uh, you know, just to look it up or whatever. Time out. You know so, what's fucked up, bro? Nobody hit me up and said, hey, bro, you were right. Y'all. It's, in, it's the internet. It's, it's yeah, the internet. It's the internet. <laughs> nobody gonna tell yeah, you what you What do I do good. this shit for if nobody gonna tell nobody me gonna tell you, you right. doing it. They gonna, only gonna tell you when you're wrong, bro. So I was wrong. I rescind, I rescind my opinion. Beyonce contributes heavily to her music and to Ivy Park. That was really fucked up for you to do during Black History Month, too. You just gonna try to take Beyonce's whole thing. Ain't got nothing away. to do with any. <laughs> yes, it does. It ain't got nothing to do with any of that, bro. It's got nothing to do with any of that. And on my behalf, I'm completely not retracting my opinion on Beyonce. His in fact, balls are bigger than his. In fact, I'm double backing one more time. If the discussion, I'm not going to get petty, but when it comes to designers, Kanye West versus Beyonce, because those were the comparisons, I still say Kanye West has a heavier hand in his designs. So by that merit... I'm not double back. I'm staying right here. This is my hill, and I'm living on it. So yeah. So we would jump about how's my week. That's what, that's the thing we usually do. Yeah, high, yeah. High, highs and lows. <laughs> highs and lows. Highs and lows. High of this week probably has to go to. Um, it can only go to one thing. Valentine's Day. Yeah, right. It's the <laughs> only thing that it can go to. I, I knew the high. I was trying to come up with, with a creative low because my Valentine's Day w- was great. Amazing. It was great. Phenomenal. Best day I, of his life. It, it was it was the right. worst day for my Wells Fargo, but uh, the best day for me. Yeah, nigga, the money gonna come back, man. You got the money, money. always yeah. comes and goes. Money always comes and goes, but yeah, it it was it was nice. I got to be cute with my girlfriend, do some cute things, and you know, have a picnic and all that good shit. So I, I'm happy, very happy that she was happy. So if she's happy, no I'm happy. Bitch. <laughs> <Ain't no picnic laughs> bitch. I'm but, sorry. I had to no, say no, shit. yeah, but it, yeah, yeah. All in all, I can't really complain. The lows is that once again. I get my car out of the shop today, and the engine check light came on again. It's time for a new car. Hey, no, no, fuck Uh, that. That Jamaican nigga doing something, bro. (laughs) Bro, it's all at the shop. When I die, take it to another shop and let's see what happens. I guess we should. Hey, bro, why this shit right here? (laughs) He's gonna keep bringing it back. Why you got (laughs) big patties all up in this motherfucker? (laughs) But yeah, no, as high. Nah, that, tell these niggas how that nigga uh, made you work on your own car. Bruh, bruh. Yeah, and summarize, long story short, he told me to be there at a certain time, the two o'clock. I pull up, it's 145. I try to be a dude, you know, be due diligent with my mm-hmm. time, respect his time. I get there, bro looks at me like, <laughs> What are y'all doing here? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, <laughs> said, I, uh, he says, Two o'clock already? I said, Well, it's 145. But, uh, you know, (laughs) and my car still parked out front. So you haven't even put it on the lift yet. Long story short, bro had me start working on somebody else's truck to make it go so we can get that done faster. What was you doing? This is the most Jamaican (laughs) nigga ever. Wait, what was you doing? So so he knew that I knew cars already. Yeah. So he's like, so I needed you. He needed me to help him clean out the the gasket, which is like the between the top plate and the bottom plate of a motor. Long story short. He was already doing that. He's like, I'm gonna you scrub this down while I go ahead. Yeah, scrub. you got me fucked up, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Bruh, no. Uh, fix my car, nigga. Uh, yeah, right nah, nigga. And fix then you can do shit. that shit. Nah, yeah. you gonna pay me, nigga? No. <laughs> you gonna, you gonna can I get a discount, uh, motherfucker? Uh, no, nah. in all in all in all <laughs> fairness. No, no. So that's the thing. He did that, but then the pro that wasn't the problem. I didn't mind. The problem was when his homie pulled up, then he was big chilling. Like they just they <laughs> Oh yeah, my, I just, uh, I just finished some work on another car right now. <laughs> 
But it's he break didn't time, nigga. Yeah, right, right, right. It's break time. But he didn't charge me for anything after I got my card done and everything. So uh, that's love. Right. Yeah, that's so, still not worth it. Yeah. Honestly, I'm, that's I don't not, mind. That's actually still mind. kind of cool, mind. though. That was I'm cool. not working on anybody's car. No, Fuck I, all that. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. I, I like this mechanic shit. But what about you? In the highs and lows. And- uh, my highs. Uh, my family came out. <laughs> my family came out. They saw the front pongs in them. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Um, so that was really cool. My lows. Shit, my bank account. I feel that. <laughs> That's the lowest. That's my bro. low of the week too. My That's low of the week. Oh, it's low. It's my bro. bank account. It's but always. you know, we we still living, man. You know, we bringing money in. Also getting it take. Oh, guess what else, guys? What? What happened? I got new tires. Oh, finally. Speaking of which, I bring it. Oh, alert! Alert! Oh, alert! This alert. a high for you too. Oh yeah, I forgot the highs. The highs. I'm gonna make this really brief. I hate these niggas but so much. I hate much. them niggas. But I told you I didn't want to be. They no finessed niggas. you, bro. Look, look. I feel like they called my parents. Bro. Look, look, look. I, 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 don't, nah. I had no take on this. Well, we ever think? Well, as you guys may not know, Ty and I live together. He's at our house all the time. We're at his house all the time. So we kind of call him the add-on roommate. Mm-hmm. But we have an issue with we. Sometimes we ask people to do things and they don't listen. So instead of me becoming frustrated about it, I just started creating a betting system on when that person's going to do it. Long story short, I got about like about six people, six or seven people at about ten dollars each, all based upon Tyrone's bets. I won the first half of my bet. I knew I, I called a good date. Bets. Um, it, there's multiple bets. There's another one going on. I can't speak on it yet. But uh, yes. Yeah, so thank you. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to your parents for coming out. Because it put an extra cool. It filled up my gas tank. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I have no parts in there. Uh, <laughs> yes, you do. You got five dollars in that nah, shit, bro. nigga. I told you I didn't want to be a part of it. I'm a good friend. I would have told you I think get your fucking tired. We bitch. did tell him you that. Got everybody no, everybody continue to tell and you. Then, we and, continue to and tell him. And then you, you know what I would do? I live with bro. I'm talking about you know what I do? I'd be like, yeah, nigga, I know, but the, the money, the yeah. money, nigga. That's it. He yeah. We just play some bets. So, uh, I guess. well, that's good that you got your tires fixed, bro. Yeah. Safe drives and all that good shit. Yep. Um. Like I said earlier, my low fucking bank account, low as fuck. Mm-hmm. Um, still don't have a job, but that's kind of like a mixed bag between a high and a low. Right, 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 right. You know right. what I mean? I just, it just puts the hustle in me. You know what it I puts mean? The grind. I don't just want like, a job because I want to hustle. Yeah, maybe I'm just built different. This nigga watched the damn dash in a year. <laughs> nah, he been watching Diddy videos because yeah, yeah, you yeah. seen how he been treating yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, he been he acting mad disrespectful. <laughs> mad I woke disrespectful. up this morning, nigga. I didn't even get a good morning text, bro. I just It just said bitch. Oh, see? Get the I work. didn't even text you today, bro. Nigga, that's how bad you. it is, bro. Awesome. Damn. Your brain texting <laughs> for you. so weird. <laughs> um, anyways, the high of the week, just another high spending with my, my son. Cool. You know what I mean? Cool. Nothing wrong hey, with that. No, hey, I am. I'm going to need that nigga hand, bro. You need to stop pressing me about my 2K and shit. Man. That's between you and him? <laughs> that's between you and him, nigga. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that shit, bro. <laughs> you going? I ain't got nothing to do with that shit because as soon as I tell him, he's going to be like, mind your business. <laughs> He's gonna be like, mind your business. I got this. Let me let me handle my shit. I'm yeah, kind I of got nothing to do with that. Too, yeah. I fucking mm. I made I made uh, I made him watch dishes today. <laughs> wait, I, what? I took pictures and said no, 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 no. Wait, this is a big fuck all that other shit. <laughs> he got oh. <laughs> 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 You gotta get, figure out a way to I get that on the screen. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, the production yeah. team. And mom team. texted me. She texted me once and I didn't respond. And yeah. then she texted me again, like, nigga. <laughs> I said, oh, maybe let me not text her back. <laughs> yeah, wow. He's but, doing um, dishes. He did a terrible fucking job. Just so you know. Obviously. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nigga ain't got no he arm strength. Said, I said, when you done, put him, in, put him in here. I looked at it. His food's still on the plate, nigga. <laughs> he ain't getting no grease I off said, that go shit. Go eat. I'll handle this shit. Oh, but yeah, that, that's pretty dope. I am taking him home, no, like to his, his grandparents' house in the next couple of days. Oh, Why is he leaving? Where he? So I can go to the gym, nigga. Oh, oh. I gotta, gotta go to the gym. Oh, I gotta yeah, go yeah. to the gym. I gotta go to the gym. That's yeah. that's that's really the biggest reason why he's leaving. So, so I can go to work the gym. Out. So I can go to work so out. Nigga don't want to watch his child because he trying to get swole. And not a watch watch your child. And I'm not trying to get swole. <laughs> he said, Nah, nigga. Not a, a Summer not 2021 coming up, nigga. Yeah, I need yeah. to look good. Exactly, Fuck you. Exactly. Exactly. Fair, fair. You sound like a bad mother right now. <laughs> Nick, He's got go I'm just fucking way. with y'all. Why you you get BBL I'm just fucking you. I'm fucking you. I'm fucking you. I'm not even gonna get in that. Um, so should, what's on? Don't the, you think he should get a BBL or something? What's on, honestly? What's bro, on the easier. docket for today, guys? Your BBL. Well, I believe today we're talking about jobs, jobs, jobs. Yeah, now he's talking to Steve Apple. 
That's Ooh. funny. We talk about That's jobs since none of us, <laughs> <laughs> none of us, none of us got a job. None of us got a job. Where you work at, <laughs> nigga? I ain't got a job. Where, where you work at, bro? <laughs> what the fuck? I work for myself. They hiring where you work? No, nah, like, no. Nah. Yeah. 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 It's an internship. I'm paying. Oh hell no! <laughs> Complex. Yeah, head you ass are Diddy, bro. <laughs> Ninety two really degrees, bro. Diddy, bro. I'm paying internship. Hell I nah. got you. Diddy, the type of nigga to get an intern while he's an intern, nigga. <laughs> pay you on life experience, nigga. Oh, Shut the fuck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I can't wait till people start ex- like really start speaking on the exploitation behind internships, bro. They they have been. It's they like free been. labor. You know? It's it, not it like free, it's free, free labor, labor in in exchange for experience. You Shut know the what I mean? Yeah, experience and a um a reference. That's what I'm saying. But what happens if letter, that nigga. what happens if the nigga that wrote that reference just dies or they get fired or for that, some that crazy letter shit. or that letter. Provides nothing. Nothing. You right. get nothing. No. Oh, you <laughs> no. got a letter? That's cool. Yeah, I don't cool give a letter, fuck. Bro. Nothing. Uh, like, nigga, nigga just... what have you done these last 10 years? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. I'm interning for myself. That's you know it. What I mean? I'm hitting these streets hard. No, streets. Hard knocks, nigga. Yes. But I, nah, bro. I learned from the school of hard knocks. That's the type of bag you in right now. Nah, fuck hard knocks. Nah, no school, nigga. I graduated. Was, oh, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> what Kanye yeah. said? Yeah. I am like, nigga, I already graduated. Uh, <laughs> Hell, and you counter. can live through anything <laughs> and magic <laughs> made it. Man. Um, they say I talk with so much it's emphasis. Just... Come on, just finish it. Oh, what they so sensitive. <laughs> hey, real quick. Yeah. It's funny that you guys mentioned sensitive because yeah. later in the episode, I want to talk about hip hop and how has, has its fans got too sensitive. Mm. Are they too sensitive? Mm. Mm. No, they just got white. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> If I'm I, not even gonna touch I'm that. I'm not even gonna leave that motherfucker alone. Let's bring it back to the job. Because <laughs> after this, wait for that. Wait, we already ain't got no job. Hip hop became hip hop. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now we oh, have rules. Said, yeah, this gonna be me. It's my role. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna say the, the most outlandish uh, shit I bro. can. Hey, you too, bro. You, bro. Yeah, bro. you know what? He's still mad about the uh, <laughs> the question video. Uh. <laughs> the 2020. <laughs> yeah, nigga. And hey, we're gonna talk about 40 though, so it's cool. So you might we're get a chance. Talk about 40, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, so look, I'm gonna talk about your guys' jobs, right? When you guys had jobs. Right. Um just talk when was that? Yeah, right. It's been so long for nigga, you. Nigga, for me, I don't even <laughs> But okay, you more that, specifically, because you you kind of went on the route where like I want to do my own thing. Yeah, I, talk more about that. I know you've talked uh, about it on the past. And you everything, willingly but, left. Yeah, yeah, no. Before I got fired, I mean, I, I, I willingly, got fired. I willingly left too. But yeah. it's not on the same kind of level. I just was tired of that Shit, fucking I left place, the bro. Spirits. Them niggas said go. <laughs> <laughs> they said Tyrone, ghost. Tyrone <laughs> boss left. They said you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> Have you we willingly seen, left. Yeah. They told us nigga you can leave. <laughs> Have you ever seen that meme? The nigga that's looking up. At the computer, and the person just standing right behind them, like, "Hey, bro, you don't have to be locked." Oh yeah, go ahead, go ahead, clock out for me. (laughs) That's literally (laughs) what happened, bro. (laughs) I was up (laughs) there. Oh my gosh, I fucking hate that shit. But uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, my story. Uh, I had a great job. It paid decent. Um, I just reached a point where I knew I had to just jump off the ledge. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying to say it modest and then go deeper in the premise and then conclude back on the modest statement. But like, don't be modest, uh, nigga. Talk no, no, shit. no, no, no. I, I modest. He's going to talk his shit. Yeah, I'm going oh, to talk. Gotta, come okay. on, yeah, right. the modest you premise. Ease you into it. But yeah, no, I had a, I, I've been luck. I was fortunate enough to graduate and go straight into marketing positions. The first two, I got fired. Um, so I was, I was just looking at my trajectory with this next one. Yeah. So I was just like, well, I'm going to get fired again, but I know I'm getting better at what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. So, um, I and you a, weren't getting fired because you didn't know how to do the job. No, no, it's no. Just it was just it, it you was and the company. Yeah, the company. I mean, I was I was at a fucking lift kit company mm. with like white prime white racist culture, pr- like pre not pre Donald Trump but early Donald Trump. That's how that. you know this yeah. nigga's good at his job. Uh-huh. There was like, damn. Really and I and they really hired my ass. Uh, I don't know I what. I'm so scared like that, bro. I'd be like, bro. You I feel like it was a setup. Bro, it like literally, it it was nothing at Cognito. Like it was in Oildale. The yeah, job, yeah, nah, fuck yeah, all that. like the job was in Oildale in the boonies. You was in the trenches. <laughs> yeah, I stay getting emails about a job in Oildale, and I'm nope. You just keep looking over it. Yeah, you just keep <laughs> every time it pop up, <laughs> you just keep going. <laughs> I'm like, come on, bro, just come work. <laughs> right, and for those who don't know, Oildale is um arguably 
like the it's, closest. It's, it's, it's like it's the Alabama South. and California. It's the Alabama of California. Yes. It's, it's racist very, as shit. It's conservative, Terrible. racist, dirty. Yeah. And we're not even talking shit, nigga. If you look it up on Yelp, nigga, it's it, as racist it, and dirty. If it was a total GDP for for oil, they'll probably be like probably a hundred bucks. What's total? What's a, what's a gross, GDP? Uh, gross domestic product. So it's like how much money is in the city okay, collectively? Thank you. Thank yeah, you. so it For is our no. fans out there. Oh yeah, my fault, my fault. I don't but, know. I think heroin's more valuable. That's true. That's idea. true. They got a lot of rocks out there. Rocks. Rocks. Heroin? <laughs> is heroin rocks? rocks. It's crack, <laughs> nigga. Rocks. I, we're just referencing. How you it. know? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I, <don't laughs> like I honestly don't. I had a, actually had yeah. a drug class in school when I was in oh. CGB. Oh. I love how he says that in his fear and loathing in Las Vegas outfit right now. Yeah, yeah. for real. <laughs> Big fear and loathing. <laughs> Big fear and loathing vibes right now. This nigga said, I got it. It's the Hawaiian shirt with, with the, the glasses. Chair. You look like the, the nigga from Pulp Fiction, <laughs> too, bro. That's crazy. You are wilding right now. Yeah, I got, I got a couple lines right there. Bro, you just a whole Tarantino. Like, when yeah. we done, I got a couple lines right there. Man, here. you big chilling. That's crazy. Then I'm yeah. going to gamble a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was kind of that was kind of like the synopsis of it all. And I, I realized I was good at it. And I just wanted to jump off the ledge with this cone thing. And I knew worst case scenario, um, I ended up back home. Yeah. So go for it. I feel it. How's it been working out for you, though? Like, since? Yeah, it, it has ups and downs. It's tax season, so you got to lie about the people. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's not lie. even about <laughs> it. I was like, the numbers are so phony. Like, they're so like, they're, I have no, I make no money. Mm-hmm. Like, right. the, what people don't understand is that when yeah. you start a business, you make no money. Like, right. if you do happen to go over a little bit, like, I ball out and I buy five boxes of cereal for the house so we can have a cereal bar yeah. that's terrible you know, i honestly leave them alone for and, him because and, and, i just yeah. know how much he loves cereal yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, it'd be 12 <laughs> o'clock <laughs> on the do- i'm child. like okay there he <laughs> goes <laughs> <laughs> he was deprived as a child so now you gotta make up for all the days <laughs> yeah no my <laughs> mom my mom money? only bought honey nut cheerios so this is oh, still like hey, but honey nut cheerios is, is, is no it's they're cool they're honey nut cheerios cool they're cool but if that's the only thing you that's the only thing i got like I just discovered Captain Crunch this past month, so I'm at a point. What was up? What about um kicks? Did you ever get kicks? Kicks were fine. You know I can't really knock it. You know all in all. <laughs> Speaking of kicks, kicks. You know up, our man? executive producer has big yeah, stomach yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's up? Oh, you want to say some words? We have to say some people. If you, you know, all right, cool. But um, yeah. All in all, I I can't I really I can't really out. knock my my overall story. <laughs> so. You know, that's cool. That's cool. I, mm. What about you, Ty? I know mm. you were. Um, so for a, hold up, give me one second. I I saw it. That's crazy. That's mm-hmm. your job now. Mm. Um, but for me, I've just been working in retail. Like, there was one time where I worked uh, at as a student assistant with Dr. Wallace. That was probably like <laughs> I'm trying, bro. I know. I'm, I'm sitting here looking connecting. at you. It's not he's, connecting. He's continuing. It's not, take it to commercial break. Stand up. We're going to call commercial break. We're going to call. Yeah, nigga, stand up. We're going to call commercial break. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for tuning in on that commercial break. Before the commercial, we were about to get into Tyrone's job journey. Yes. <laughs> and how that's been. I mean, fucking terrible. <laughs> have you have you been looking for a job? Yeah, have I have. I have. Two. How many jobs have you been fired from? Oh, this was the first time. This is your first I've time being fired. Been fired. Congratulations. No, hey, nigga. Hey, hey, feel, I, no, he feels she like said, shit. I was like, yeah. What? It's like a breakup. It's like Honestly, a breakup. Yeah. It's like a breakup. Yeah. It, it really is because you're like, yo, I thought we could fix this. Right. I, I really thought we could. Was fix it me? This. I thought we were good. But you said that you weren't. Nah, angry I know. About it's like that. a breakup. Damn. Yeah. All right. I guess that's like this. Is literally, how I left. I was like, I guess. Right. I'm about to go fuck your friend. Costco. Is, no, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I applied um, to Sam's Club and they said no. I just got that email last yeah. night, nigga. How? Do, nah, man. How they I, say I have no? Nothing to do with that. What verbiage are they using that we we Did respectfully you use me as decline? A Hell no. Okay, the dude. fuck? I don't use. No, that's not even like a knock on you, bro. That's I just don't use really black. I just don't use anybody to reference, bro. Mm. At ten thirty eight PM, I'm looking at the email right now. Uh-huh. Ten thirty eight PM. Ten thirty eight PM. They said that's not their automated. Who said that? <laughs> who yes, who saying, set bro. that time? No, for that somebody was message. drunk. Somebody <laughs> was drunk in that motherfucker's house. Nah, they saw like, the name Elijah and they knew. We're well, good. Elijah's not even a black name, bro. It's a white name. You know what it was? They probably heard me say the name Elijah. It was like, nope. I don't give. I don't know. I don't know any I, white people named Elijah. I don't know any black Elijah, people named Elijah. Um, Elijah oh, wow. Wood. Happy feet. 
Oh, you oh, the Rings. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know any black people named Elijah. Right, there we yeah. go. But um, yeah. Go ahead, continue. Um, but um, bro, my job, the one job I really was cool with was being a student assist, assistant at oh, Dr. Man. Wallace's office. But even then, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. So I that. it was it was kind of difficult because I was like, every day I was on my toes. I was like, ah, shit. That's one of them school jobs. Yeah. I had a school yeah. job, bro. I fucking oh, love that job. We all bond on that one, too? Yeah. And I love that. <laughs> I love that no, job. No, his bro. school. I remember yours, but <laughs> his shit was tight. He okay? no. had like four school jobs. Look, I had one school job, and like for the maybe the first couple months, like I really did the job. You know what I mean? Is that the cart? Yeah, yeah, the cart. Yeah, yeah, the car. yeah I, remember, that's I, I was a facility yeah. assistant, yeah. right? And um, I got fired. I'm from sure that the one. statute of limitations is, is passed. Yeah, yeah. But I've, I've, I learned that I could walk in, say I'm here for the job. They'd be like, "All right, go do your job," and I not do it, and then come back and be like, "I'm done doing the job." And then just sign off on my hours and collect the pay. Wow. I did that shit. I did that shit a lot. Every day. I did that shit. Not every day, but I did the shit more than one day. How it wow. It's seven, five days in a working week at Cal State. How many days a week were you doing like that? Like four. <laughs> <laughs> and and the one day he look. didn't was a Friday. Right. Look. And then, no, like the days I didn't do it is where they had to do like setups for events oh, okay. or whatever. Oh, and, like, to where you up. had to work. Because there's only me and like one or two other niggas, but like just me and one nigga. You and that nigga Dito, time. y'all both do the same shit. And it's funny because at Hampton, I had a, a job too, right? Uh-huh. Um, Doing I what? did the same thing. Same, well, now this one was like I had to be a game room attendant. Uh-huh. We had like a game room where you had pools, yeah. this and that, right? Yeah. So I'd go down to the office, which is like in a completely different building, yeah. sign in. Then they're like, go to the game room. So I would say just, I'm in the game room. Like sometimes I'd actually go because I'd just fucking no 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 play. describe this game room. It's like, just, I told you it had like pool tables and ping pong tables, like a recreation. Uh, oh room. okay, okay. I'm thinking games? I'm thinking arcade. No, no video mm-hmm. game. No. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, and yeah, then like wrong. sometimes yeah, yeah. sometimes I would go because like I get to play pool and shit. Right, that's yeah. where I learned how to play pool. Mm. Uh, but I'm other days circle. I just go back to my fucking room and then you just come back. Four or five hours later, and say I'm done doing the job. Wow. Nah, nigga. Wow. Was, yeah. So wait, did you get fired from facilities? I didn't get fired from none of those jobs. That's nigga. crazy. You had to put a cart in that motherfucker though to get fired. I did. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I, and you probably would have been good if you just told them you did it right away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. I nah, finessed I, the whole thing, bro. I or was, if you didn't do it into a fucking watch that fucking put a case pump. out on me like this nigga was stealing money. Oh, nigga, you wasn't <laughs> working, bro. That would be that would be crazy if they find out your situation. Then they, they find out they don't have no no proof. You know, I could be lying. I could be lying. This can be all entertainment. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, Everything you know, we you. do, <laughs> listen, just be doing entertainment uh, right now. <laughs> but uh, my name not even Big Wolf. Uh, it's really not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let it ride. Nah, y'all suck my joke out. I'm still, I'm still <laughs> mad. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> mad. But anyways, uh, yeah. No, I, it was just really interesting as, as we talk about jobs and things of that nature. I think mm. what is interesting is that bird. Th- we're a prime example of birds of a feather flock together. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're all very comfortable. We all did have the job path. I'm just now finding out you were in. I, I always wondered how you got that card on campus but i was like I, yeah, it I just seemed fitting it was just it would, it. bro it was just seemed fitting i was like to give people rides nigga. i used to race other bro, people who had carts nigga. bro i don't know how it, it's like but it makes sense i was like he had he had to have a job and i don't then, know why yeah, and then there was one cart that was like faster than the rest of them so oh, I know. longer one right yeah and i was trying yeah. to race ticket that shit bro and just like do the jobs far out. and it's funny though because one day on that job bro we had to go around the campus picking up like trash bags yeah mm-hmm. so i actually had to drive an actual truck but the bitch was stick shit. Yeah, the so white the, one. Yeah, the, the white one. Yeah. The yeah, white joint. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. my coworker shit. was like teaching me how to like drive stick. Yeah, clutch, bro. That was yeah. one day, yeah. bro. But that, was, that was a fun job, bro. bro. You we were at like, risk of hitting a student. I want yeah, you to know. You that think that about right those liabilities. He, he doesn't know how to drive shit. a manual They're like, transmission. Wait, nigga, you can't drive. Stick. I don't even know how I got that job, bro. I was just about to ask. I don't even know how I got that job, bro. So can we speak on our like our worst jobs and our best jobs? Um, yeah. So real quick, I the. The most recent job I had was Amazon, right? Mm-hmm. I didn't get fired. I, I've only been let go from like two jobs, maybe. Yeah, was it like a seasonal one or like it was? You... Um, uh, fuck, from a, a, a staffing agency. Oh, that's a. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The job didn't let me go like the staffing, staffing agency, agency did. did. Yeah, yeah that's not Other than that, I've never they been. They just didn't want to pay you anymore. I, I've never been fired from mm-hmm. a job. Um, I did one this. time. though had to go to a job Nigga, for. We don't talk back. <laughs> You said what? I said, how do you do that? You don't talk do back. What? I've been fired. From well, because the nigga, I'm like, look, the job. thing is, bro, <laughs> it's two things, right? 
the most obvious is I learned to, I'm a real people person, right? I get along with everybody and anybody, right? Um, you guys don't see it because you guys see like like me, job job me, other people me. I get along with everybody, right? Okay. And I always get along with Rocks. with like the 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 bosses enough to where I I know like what I can oh, get okay. away with, what I cannot get away with. You know so what I mean? You just play you play the game. I play the yeah. game and then I start just finessing my way through the system. Like every single job I've ever had, bro. I've always broke rules and finesse. Like I worked at Subway, right? Yeah. They you was worked like, at Subway? I worked at Subway. That was, that was probably one of my, one of my favorite Subway, jobs, bro. bro. They yeah. were like, you can't wear, uh, you have to wear non-slip on shoes. Yeah. Right? Good luck. The, job, the manager actually, I think she liked me like me. Yeah. I think I was going to work in J's, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I have J's, nigga. I have t- black cement threes talking about what kind of bread you want, nigga. <laughs> they was like, you can't have no tattoo showing. That was in there, tattoo showing, everything, bro, right? Like I was... So they said, wait, so they said you had to wear no slip shoes. And I wore Jordans. And you said you ain't going to catch me slipping yeah. without <laughs> my black cement <laughs> three. And then you see I, what I did there, right? Look, I, I was there for maybe about four or five shoot, months, shoot, bro. <laughs> I didn't wash not one dish. Excuse me? Wait. The manager Nigga, knew never to ask me to wash dishes. That is dishes. like the main part of, of the yeah, job. <laughs> of food way. jobs, bro. I never I never not wash one dish. That does bad So English. you would just look at niggas like... No, they would just... Somebody else, she would be like, "Go, you go wash dishes. You go wash dishes. She never asked me to wash dishes. How do y'all ever. do that? I because just, I finessed. I, I learned a game. I, I be a good worker for maybe like a month. And then I'm like, oh, I can get away with this. Or I can do okay, this and get yeah. away with this. Then I just do it. Yeah, that's kind I, of... I finesse my way through every single... Like, even with Amazon, you're not supposed to listen to music. I think I was listening to music every single day. I'd be going to the restroom, bro, for like 50 minutes, just chilling there. You know what I mean? I finesse the system. And this is why I, this is why I can never have a corporate job or just a regular job. Well, yeah. because... That's funny, because um, I was just talking to my mom right now, and she works for the state. Yeah. And she was... I want to just... know where he's going with that, so don't don't forget... <clears throat> And she was just telling me that it's basically much of the same, that there are higher ups that just fuck the job off. Like she watches the RNs, the registered nurses Mm -hmm. do absolutely nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Like no one. She's like the only one that does the work. Yeah. And, And everybody and like people there love her, but they also trust her because she's the only one that does the work. While yeah. she watches everybody else just See, fuck Now the off. thing is is I, okay. I I don't make it obvious that I fuck off. Like when oh, the when yeah, the managers are looking, that's when I'm working my hardest. Right. Yeah. Making jokes, doing this and that. Like when Amazon, one of the girls there, the one that met my manager, we go through so many managers, whatever. She had on off white um off white prestos or vapor oh. maxes. Ooh. Right at work. Ooh. At work. Right. Were, were they Prestos or Vapor Maxes? They're Vapor they're... Maxes, not Prestos. Because okay. Prestos, oh, they Prestos were are maxes. beautiful. Like yeah. those are right. Oh, and so yeah. I started talking to her about shoes and this and that, and just creating this rapport, mm-hmm. right? And so I just do that, and it's like all these jobs, bro, are fucking. In all honesty, bro, I feel like they're all less than me. You know, I don't want to yeah. sound like mm-hmm. like that nigga, but nigga, they're all fucking less than. Me. Well, at least the work is less than you. Yeah, at least the work is the, the work that the labor, labor yeah. itself is all less than me, bro. Like, nigga, I have a degree. I know that doesn't mean shit in this economy. Yeah, you know but what, what I mean. You, what but you know, it supersedes. That's what I'm saying. Job. And, and I, I'm a very fast learner, very quick learner. I can pick up shit like that. Nigga. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's just all. I feel like it's all beneath me, and it's just it's easy for me to just fuck it off and finesse my way through because nigga, it is beneath me. See, where I fuck up is I start to show that I feel like the job is beneath me. Yeah, no. And I think that's why I got fired from Sam's Club because they were just like, nigga, you really just don't give a fuck. And, but they were also like, I kind of see why you wouldn't give a fuck because mm-hmm. <laughs> it's bullshit. Like, I, I, I just, I've never, every job I've had since I was 18 years old. Start off at a grocery store. Yes, Rouse. You were yeah, right. I, I worked. Now I worked at a grocery store, bro. Right? Yeah. Nigga, tell me why some of the cashiers. I was twenty six at the time. Uh huh. Some of the cashiers been there for there. thirty years. That's nigga. wild. I said you've that... been here in this one fucking I position hear that too. longer than I've been alive, bro. bro I would be sitting there like, how the fuck do y'all? You yeah. got me here for fucked twenty up. Yeah. years. Y'all been doing this, bro. It's 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 a different type of, and I, I don't know. Like, for me, I don't know. I. When I see somebody doing something wrong, I don't care what your fucking position is. I will tell you you're wrong. Yeah. yeah. I don't and and I've never been good. That's why I look at like this they is not like this I, this is not showing out for the cameras. I really don't know 
how to fucking do that. Yeah. I, my first month at Citroen, it shouts yeah. out to you, Steven, if you're watching, you ain't gonna watch this shit. Watch this. Yeah, but anyways, <laughs> it's like, it was like my first or second week in there. He came up with some marketing strategy. I said, this shit is ass, verbatim. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I do the, can I do the uh, Joe Budden? Uh, I've always wanted to. What? Nigga, this shit is ass. Bro, bro. <laughs> ass. I said, I don't give a fuck about this, and you can't convince yourself to give a fuck about this. Yeah. And we can go, bro, we went, like, we were, like, damn near ready to fight. Mm. Mind you, I'm the new kid on the block, which was, I look back, I'm like, what was I thinking? I could just like, shut up and agree. the first day. Right. Yeah, nah, I feel that. And I was like, it was, but but because of that. You got his respect. Right off of that, right, like, right after that, we were tight. And that, like I said, that sometimes it works well. And my other job when I was working at Campus Programming, like, my director at the time, she was wrong about, like, not my highest, the one who ran the, all yeah, the, yeah. Uh, yeah. We know, we know. It. Emily, I know, I know you're Emily about. don't didn't Definitely know what the fuck watching. she was talking about. <laughs> so I, hey, he already I, said that's a hill go die on hey. by not rescinding on him looking dumb with Beyonce. With shit, Beyonce, so. so he not afraid of yeah, shit, nigga. He yeah, not afraid I'm of not, shit. I know what I'm, I can say she's a great woman, mm, horrible yeah. boss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I, and I, when I was saying that, when I was expressing my concerns, and like I'm telling, I, I remember at the time, this is, this is like the origin of our friendship. Yeah. And I'm like, you're trying. I remember trying to explain. I knew I was in the marketing. I was like, you're trying to get. The streets, and I got the niggas who are in the streets. They, I was just like, let me yeah, do just my, let me do yeah, it. Like there's they, been a couple of times uh, where like with Leah like would say like we want to do this and this and this, and then like she would talk about like now hold just, on now you be careful. No, I, I already I'm already no. Up. I'm just saying like it, it just it was a lot harder for her to push things through. You know because yeah. of just because I hear the same. This thing was saying too. just yeah. because of uh -huh. like um like exactly what you were saying. Yeah. It's just like you guys know what you know what people want, right? We, but I, we, they just don't trust me. Now here's my thing because you brought up a good thing. Good people, bad bosses. Good. Yes. How do you get around that? Like how do you? How I do you? I get fired. No, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I get fired. I don't know Is how to do that. Is there any way to let this person? Because you know they're a good person. You know they have some kind of sense outside yeah. of the job. They have how a beautiful let, soul. They have a beautiful soul. But how do you get them to see that? You Yo, you don't know what the fuck you're talking. It was about. the most frustrating thing when, I, especially because who else? It was. It was you were always in there. Yeah, I was in that bitch. Even when I graduated, I was always. Yeah, bro, that it was you. Because everybody I fucking knew were all your friends. Who, who else was it's with us? It's not like it was high school and you was doing yeah. that. Right. You had a degree. Right. Who, else, who else was with us though? Was somebody else? Um, I don't know. It depends. I remember. Like, it depends. We would have. People would switch off. Yeah, every week. yeah. but like the thing about it, I remember like it would be events coming up, and I'm like, we need it now. I don't know if I'm just ranting, but I was like, I remember like we we sit and have these meetings, these elaborate meetings on how do we get the students' attention when yeah. there's a nigga who literally does nothing but stand. Get the he does nothing and gets their attention. Why are we having it? I'm telling you, he's right in front of you. Yeah. Like he, you don't have to think. No, you don't have to write it in the sky. The dope niggas are in front of me. I talked to the dope niggas. <laughs> hey, so, you want to know what's tight I, though? And I said that. I said, literally said, dope niggas. Oh. And that's what got me written up. She was <laughs> like, ah, <laughs> got you, bitch. We just so, waiting on you to say, nigga. Yeah. She so, was just sitting there like, got you. Nigga, yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah, got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. Nah, but here's the dope thing that you did. You saw that you weren't being valued there. Yeah. Literally went right next door and started oh. to change shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. I feel like, listen, like, when it comes to bad bosses, they won't ever believe that they're bad bosses. But when you're a person that shows them that they are wrong and right. everything you were saying was right, like literally right in front of their face, yeah, they cannot deny that. Yeah, so, it, was, it was one of those things. Yeah. It's, I don't, I don't know it, but you never answered the question. Your best job and the worst job. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So my best job. You, can you tell the people how many jobs you I had? I think I've had Nick. like like twenty plus jobs. <laughs> Nigga. I, one time week. in the mall. Look, <laughs> he's Jamaican. Like, that's value. why the pipes. Whoa, we figured. <laughs> oh my god. He's trying god. to get back to his roots. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Listen, bro, wait. Time out. He would eat a meat patty <laughs> every day. Day. I'm yeah, saying. bro. And I'm mad He's when Jamaican. I went to the little Jamaican spot right here. Yeah. Get, they get the beef patties from the same place. I get my yeah, nigga. I, I told it was, you, nah, it I, was the same nah, rapper. Uh, nigga at Hampton, bro. They had they had it was the same fucking rapper <laughs> at Hampton. They had um a uh, uh, campus store or whatever. Yeah, that's where I first got into beef patties. Then okay. when I went to an HBCU, right, right. Dog, right. That's they the had a meal, place. two beef patties, a season fries, dog. Hey, yo, that's some barbecue sauce. Oh. Son, I ain't even touching my shit. I have a picture of the restaurant in my my thing. That shit was. I know dead. how to make beef patties. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. But look, at one point, bro, in that Valley Plaza, dude, everybody in there knew who I was. I worked at like six different jobs in Valley Plaza. Yeah. You know Valley what I mean? Plaza's a mall. 
the in the Bakersfield mall, area. Mall, Bakers we use the term don't. mall loosely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I worked like six jobs in there, bro. Right. And the uh-huh. crazy thing about the mall is like everybody just recycles stores, to man. different stores, right? I go right. in there today. Nigga, I still see some people in there. Mind you, it's been six years since yeah, I worked yeah, in the yeah. mall. There's still people working in some of those those stores that they was working in six years ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. And they weren't and even in there for like two, three years. Nigga, and that yeah. shit just blows my fucking mind because they was already there way before I was, and they're still there. Do you yeah. think Not even managers thing? or anything, bro. Do you think, I, nigga, maybe I, just, I don't know. I don't know. I just I can't understand. Shit, I can't understand mm-hmm. being, at, being at a job. Doing the job knowing that this is not what you want to do. Well, if yeah. you don't have a passion, bro, then you're stuck in that. And, I, mean, and I, guess, I think that's what it is. I, I think get, all of us just found our passions like my really mom, early. Because I, uh, I quit Amazon. Um, or I got let go from Amazon or whatever. No, uh, you quit. You, you, you physically. Danielle, not saw, talk- Danielle saw the episode when I talked about it last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. She did watch that one. Oh, oh, she was mad. Fuck. She watched that she was mad. Oh, she was mad. Oh, she, was, she was like, I'm going to go home. I'm gonna, yeah. not, not go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to drive back to my mom's house. <laughs> she was oh, mad. Oh, oh shit. Um, anyway. Well, she's not going to watch this episode. And I told, I told my yes. mom the day before, right? And she was like, don't quit. But I can, I can understand why because like, you don't want... You have to be your own boss, right? Yeah. You're too creative. You're too much of a, not a rebel, but you're too much of an individual to to work, to do anything you don't want to do. Yeah. One person's rebel is another person's visionary. Right? Yeah. She's like, you just, you don't want to work on anybody. Yeah. I don't want to wear uniforms. We talked about that in a previous yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to do any of that shit, bro. Well, who's like, a fly-ass Carhartt <laughs> uniform? Nigga. Still, I would find a way to rebel. Like, even at Full Locker, bro, like, Full Locker, you can wear J's, right? You yeah. can wear J's. You I can wear my Stacey shoes. Adams. But you didn't want... You know, no, I wanted to wear J's, but you couldn't wear jeans. You, you got to wear, like, slacks, yeah. right? Then I said, fuck that, and I'm still wearing black jeans. You know what yeah. I mean? I worked at Wells Fargo, right? He had to wear a full suit. Wait. Three-piece suit. A three-piece suit. Time out. Three-piece suit. When the fuck did you work at Wells yeah, we're, Fargo? We're, yeah, that's you're not... The, hey, nigga, how many jobs <laughs> have you had? I was working in the mortgage department, right? Oh, my... <laughs> Life comes full circle. He's hey. the first nigga we know with a house. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we used to. Hey, can you do bro, this for me? We Wait. used to look up like like uh, Khloe Kardashian has her home loan through Wells Fargo, so we could see like how much your house is worth. Hey, bro, what you? I would have canceled bro, her shit right, right there. Son, I can tell you. Hold on, I gotta hear this. No, no, I gotta hear this. I, just real quick, real quick story, right? Yeah. So this lady was calling in to pay her mortgage. Right, mortgage mm. is seven thousand dollars. Right, a month. That's a month. Big ass right? house. Right, and then, and she set up. Uh, Automatic withdraw through Wells Fargo Mortgage uh-huh. and through her own personal bank, which means every month she had fourteen thousand dollars coming out of her account paying for her house. She did not know this for like five months. She did not know this. I said Wait, you had enough nigga, money to not notice fourteen thousand dollars coming out of your account no, each month. That's seventy thousand dollars in five months. And she did not notice. She was like, "Do I have a uh, automatic withdrawal set up for this account?" I said, "Yes, ma'am, you do." She's like, "Oh, that's crazy because I have it set up for my personal bank. Can you cut that off?" She said, "So, no. so where is the? So what about the, the thirty-five thousand dollars that she? What? She didn't even ask for that. No, she no, she was because you get to pay your 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 house off faster, right? So most people don't really care. Like when they get money back from like uh." Like escrow or whatever, they usually oh. just have it go back into their house. Right, right, right. You know, like, hey, shout out to Hakeem Love, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nigga paid so, yeah. off a house look, on accident. I, I used to work at I used to work in the mortgage department at Wells Fargo, right? <laughs> yeah. And we had to wear a three piece suit right, every right, single right. day. Nigga, I was in that bitch with black jeans on. Like I find a way I to. Think, to I, he I was think, telling I, niggas they couldn't get loans in, in black, black jeans. jeans. Hell I got nah. pictures. I had dreads. My dreads were, <laughs> on, you know, I had. Nigga, they was Please down to my shoulders. Please tell me they weren't the fake ass dress. No, oh my no. Gosh. Um, that but yeah, nigga, like how? I think, I think, what, I think your issue is gonna come about if you ever get a job that lets you wear black jeans and Jordans. The, nigga, a job I'm, that lets you then you then you, then you might then you might start wearing suits just to he's rebel. Gonna, he's gonna be mad. He's gonna become the most regular nigga. After that, bro. <laughs> you know? But it's like every job I've had, I've I've always felt a problem with anything. Right, right, the right, best right. Jo- I would say the best job mm-hmm. I've had, bro. Fuck, Subway was a really good work environment. Yeah. Just like because of the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know because I, mean? I heard actually working for Subway. Uh, and like the actual the job wasn't too bad. You know, I worked at the 24 hour one on off Gosford. Gosford. Okay. And we had yep. a lot of regulars, and like, you know, I would make conversation rapport. It was actually not a bad job. What's the weirdest thing you ever saw? <laughs> I know some shit be going down. It wasn't that a weird right thing. Now. It was just a crazy thing, right? Yeah. I don't want to speak on it because it involves other people. Okay. You know what I mean? But I- I'll tell you guys after, after this show. After right? What right. is the weirdest thing you've ever experienced working a job? 
I don't get to stay long enough to see weird shit. I get fired. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever done? Because I know you'd be doing shit. Oh. Man. That's the better question for you. I I I can't think. I really can't think. Nigga, you crashed a golf cart uh, yeah. into a pond, <laughs> yeah, nigga. I mean, that, I mean, outside of that, outside of yeah, me driving the cart into a lake. <laughs> and, <laughs> I thought I could do it. I, that, I told you this story, right? You told me this story. Yeah. I just forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I I thought I I thought I can hit the circumference of the. I if I gunned it, the same cart, nigga. The same cart. You ever wondered if you can make it? Anyway. <laughs> I, I said, but I'm the issue put my physics said, homework to work. Was, to work. I, he said, besides driving a cart in a lake, I don't know. <laughs> and when you explain it, it's, he didn't go down. This nigga <laughs> tried to whip the No, I, I made it around once. I could have left and nobody would have known. I got greedy once again. You got greedy. greedy. And I tried to do it again. That's funny. Oh yeah. Um, I would I say, know. just real quick, the best job I've had just based off the experience was yeah. probably working at Conduit mm. when I was yeah. here. Yeah. And that's probably. The, the owner of me doing like the craziest shit at work. I can't speak on that. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's, oh, it's I know. fucking I know. crazy. It's I just know. a bunch of crazy shit. I know. You know? Like, I'd be like being yeah. in the job, like in the workspace. You nigga, told like, me that story. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, <laughs> how could somebody get away with doing you shit do like that, that? Wait, in the middle of the day? I don't know the story. So, you, yeah, yeah, don't, I don't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They yeah. was reading the newspaper that morning. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like, how did somebody be able to do that in the middle of the workday in the office? How did they even find a newspaper in at that time? This downtown Bakersfield. That's why. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean. It, the downtown Bakersfieldian. You yeah, know? yeah, the oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Bakersfield uh, life. But yeah. uh, that's not healthy. Yeah, right. But like I said, you could I probably just, die. With, you know, we dragged on this topic forever. Yeah. But just when it comes to jobs, just me personally, like I like I said, I quit this Amazon job, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been looking for other jobs, but. Secretly in my head, I'm like, I really hope the strap business comes through yeah. Yeah. so I don't have to work another fucking job. And you know, like, the the hustle life, the grind life, it's not for everybody. Not everybody can do it. Not everybody should it's, do it. It's probably, out of 10 people, it's probably four people. It's 10 niggas in a row. But it's probably more now because now... A lot more people, younger people, are trying to have their own jobs, do their own Which is why there's Lyft, own small Door businesses. Dash, you know, like every time on yeah. like Twitter, bro, everybody has selling some this and that, right? Mm. I say, I say, out of ten niggas, I would probably say when it's talking about destined your, your destined dream, probably four of them are cut for it. Mm. Two of them are going to be successful. That, that's, that's the crazy shit, bro. Because I'm trying to do this and, shit, nigga. And one will become the billionaire. I'm not even trying to be millionaire. Nigga. You see what I'm saying? Be, I just want, don't have the budget. I don't want to have to budget. Yeah, you know, we tweaked on that in earlier episode too. But yeah, yeah, it's it's so it's so weird. Like niggas don't know. Like like you're never off the clock. You think about that? Yeah, no. Since, since you quit on. your job, no. you've never been off I'm, the clock. I never. Like I said, I told yeah. Daniel the other day, bro. My days are busy because I always have something to do all the time, nigga. Like I could be sitting watching TV, nigga, but I still have a paper to write. Nigga. I got a strap to make, nigga. Like I'm always, I always have something to do. I it's started so crazy. working more uh, when I got fired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It, it's really ironic. Just side note, uh, my girl was telling me about the at her job, the Vietnamese guy. He owns a company that's probably grossing anywhere from five million to ten million a year. Wow! And nails, right? Yeah. Wow. Um, only because I did the numbers, how many employees? I, yeah. I did the math myself. Okay. And he was talking to Key, and he said, "So that uh, means he's actually doing like fifteen mil." Yeah. Oh, something ridiculous. Mm. So what he said was, he told Key, he's like, "Oh, I'm taking my first vacation." And she's like, what do you mean taking the first vacation? This man's owned this business for 10 years, right? He has taken his first vacation in 10 fucking years. Not only that, he owns the business and he comes in. He's the first nigga in there at 5 o'clock in the morning. And he's the last person to leave at 10 p.m. The numbers make sense. The numbers yeah, make he's sense. He's doing the work, not taking any days out. Because when you run some shit, bro, like, and you're passionate about running this shit. It doesn't even feel... He, it not, doesn't even feel like, like it. That's what like, I'm saying. And it makes us, and that's why I'm saying, like, it, it, we're looking, we're going through these episodes now, but like, we're going to look back at this. Like, the whole idea of starting to record yeah. at 8 o'clock p.m. to have a meeting right after this, don't forget that. Yeah. You know, it's like in any other workplace, that is crazy. It's ridiculous. Yeah, and, but, uh, like you said, we don't see it. We don't a, feel it. We don't feel honestly, it. Honestly, no, because I'm like, all right, it's Thursday. We got to yeah. record. That's it. I feel weird when I'm not doing something that has to do with. The clothes, something that doesn't have to do with the podcast, something that doesn't have to do with the graphics. Yeah. 
I feel like weird. I haven't posted on Instagram in I don't know how many days. Yeah, I've been going crazy. I think I had a nightmare last night about yeah <laughs> the follow button. Yeah, now I posted some shit today, but like, like today, like yesterday, I made the strap right. Yeah, I actually have another one that I need to make, but I've just like today has been writing. I've been like on uh, ninety two degrees dot com just furthering that all yeah. day yeah and it's like tomorrow you know like this fucking episode we wrote i have forgotten wrote this shit like this morning yeah you know what i mean because it's just like i just have a lot of work to do but it's not work to me because it's fun this is yeah shit that i want this is the shit we this well, is like, we dreamed of yeah. when we were kids bro like i don't I, say kids but that's no shit I, dreamed I really of. Yeah. remembered saying that when i go get older i don't want to work I want to get all my money doing like the things that, that was the job that you said like i don't I mean, want to work i, I want to get, get and not do nothing yeah. even this shit and not do this shit. i yeah. said i want I mean, yeah but bro. like if i had to work like this is what i would choose yeah, yeah. i want to make money like doing the things i love like having to do with clothing like shoes especially it's weird as a as a kid my first job that i was damn near paid to say i want to be an investment banker I, I, yeah, and you were I, a boring. Ass yeah, kid. I, 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 <laughs> well, cause I learned that you can make money not even being good at anything. That's all an you investment banker is. You know why you knew is. that though? Because my dad had me watching stock market, and you didn't watch. You yeah. didn't watch cartoons. I didn't watch cartoons. So your imagination <laughs> was ass. But yeah. no, it I wasn't got, ass. It was really yeah. good, but yeah. it was pinpointed towards like functional right. dreams. So that's know? why it's like it, it. So now, like I fast forward, and then I learned that you know the only way you can do that is when you acquire a set of skills, and that's yeah. how you become good at what you do. Yeah. And, yeah. Which is, I think, what we're are all in all I doing. Think we all got to the part of where our dream stems from that we realized we need to have skills. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I have the skills. I just have to to utilize them, refine them, you know, what I mean? refine them, and change that's what, that's them, what update them. This time and is that's for. the thing. You never stop learning. Never. Learning, and, then, and that's why I don't like jobs, like corporate jobs and shit like that, because there is a point where there's you a glass stop ceiling. learning. There's a Kanye reference. Yeah, it's, 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 it's just, I, just, I just don't like it, bro, because I feel like unless you're like you have a business mind, you're of business mind. Yeah, that's not something that you want to do. Like I feel like that shit. It's just. It's, I don't know. I could go on and on about this shit, bro. But even yeah, then, those sucks. people who work at like the but big go on and now, on. Now, like the only yeah. thing that's bad that that is fuck. Cause I, I was fuck. The only thing that's not necessarily bad, but the crazy thing about it is that those people they can have a business plan set up as far as money making, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get corporate job, suit and tie, this and that. Yeah. Depending on the job, you're guaranteed to make x amount a year you know like i was talking about my brother yeah um who we're complete opposites you know i'm very creative mind this and this i want to i'm cool with not cool with struggling but i understand it's necessary right. for me to, to prosper right it's russell simmons and um uh rev run you and your brother that's yeah kind of yeah crazy. exactly um you know he is already working corporate jobs he's working for the state and this yeah. and that right and it's like if he continues on that job path He's guaranteed to drive a Benz, you know, live, be able to afford Retire to live at like in L.A., 50. Yeah. you know, but the entire time, bro, it's going to it's just going to drain him. I feel like it's going to like just unless drain. he really likes that. Shit. But it, he does it. I mean, he might he might. I just I can't I, fathom anybody that would be like unless you're in it for the money because it's a guaranteed like. Yeah, you know, I, can't I, worry. I think no, go uh, ahead. I'm sorry. I think that a lot of people don't know their why. Yeah. The, that the thing that the 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 reason the thing that pulls us together as friends is sometimes is the reason why we argue is because we all understand our personal why We're for everything. Similar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and and that's that's the only reason we'll have any form of like conflict conflict. Yeah. But like, <laughs> sorry, <The whole laughs> sorry, episode. sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I can't help okay. it. I, re- I, oh I forgot God. about that one. But seriously, it's it's one of those things where like. Um, so referring back to your brother, and I say this respectfully, of course, but yeah. like maybe he just doesn't know his why. Like my why yeah. for ev- my why for everything is like, does it build my brand? Does it build my family? Yeah. And you, does it build my brand? Does it build my family? Exactly. But you, it's does it build my brand? Build does it my brand does it build my for my, my family? For my family. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like because we are we we've, we've watered down life to those two yeah. elements, nothing That's else matters. Crazy. Nothing else matters. Yeah, I think we all, all of us want to put, I, I look at it like this way, because like on my arm, I have a tattoo, right? Mm-hmm. Which it's in one? red. You can't really see it. Nope. But it says, I just want to share a piece of my mind with the world. Right. That's my why. That is yeah. literally why I do anything I fucking do in this shit, because I want somebody to be like, I respect this nigga's opinion. Right. Yeah. That's you it. You know? And which is why we'll, we'll forever have a hard time 
being in the job world. And you know, that's why you do what you do. Like you said, I'm that's why fired. you do what yeah. you do. You know what I mean? Cause it's because it's like you want for me, like it's always been a thing of like, I've seen how great my parents are. Like I've seen how, like, honestly, they're very, they're successful. And yeah. I'm like, but nobody knows this. Nobody knows their stories. Nobody knows their values. I want right. people like I want my last name to hold everything my parents instilled in us. And yeah. I want that to translate to everybody. Yeah. So. And that, that what goes back to, you, you know, build your brand, build your family. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Like all, all three of us subscribe to that. Yeah. It's like I'm, mine's not so much for my last name or anything. I just want. <laughs> it's mm. funny you mentioned last names. Yeah. Oh, what you mean? You finally, are, we still have not covered we still that. Haven't talked about that shit. Jeez, <laughs> I was like, yeah. it almost felt, I thought we covered. No, we this never. Word. We covered like Heems or whatever. Yeah. But we haven't covered like the actual change the of my last name. That's funny you mentioned that. Yeah, but go, go yeah, continue. Yeah, but yeah, like it, it's it's really interesting because um, damn, we haven't brought that. I'm I'm thrown off. Yeah, for real. I thought this, we were. I mean, this would be like, a great time for me to talk yeah, bro, about it. Yeah, fuck what I was saying. Fuck it. You know what? Continue. 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 No, but but no, it's like the whole idea of like me. I don't necessarily trying to build my last name i have nothing against it my dad understands yeah. it but my dad told me as a kid this was some slave owner's last name i don't okay. give a fuck you okay. know like yeah you know i but i think that i my bigger purpose is i want young niggas to be passionate about dope shit outside of raps and basketball mm -hmm. like you see you what i'm saying do it like too. like yes. it's, it, it's like yes. it's out it's, it's like like how many young niggas do we really see saying nigga i'm the writer yeah nobody to this day to or this nigga day. i'm the app developer it, it, it's like it's the app developer i kind of see it but like just being the swagged out we see the app develop, developer he's still like he's a lame cool no, but see, i want to see the cool, cool no, app developer. Like cool. In my, my, my instagram bio you yeah. know i'm a journalist with rapper tendencies exactly nigga. exactly how many, how many writers do you see with fucking no, whole body don't. fucking you tattooed don't. they're quiet you know as I mean? fuck whole body tattooed and, and this and this and that and, you know what i mean and, that's and you know what, what and i feel like that takes away from the art of writing because you're not exactly. getting exactly the, the last the, the only the only documentation we have of a generation is not its music mm -hmm. it's not its instagram or its words yeah. so in a since yeah. writers are really the only people who can leave a legacy for what's going to come next yeah. but yet historians bro they're, they're truly historians and that's why i have a hard time understanding why every nigga wants to rap but they don't want to write that Niggas just don't even write their rap it's like it, it's like you i i don't understand uh, yeah i don't exactly, understand exactly 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 but, but i i do it it all comes down to the money no, there's mad. so many ways to make money man just I'm my so mom was talking now. to me about it today. Like now I'm pissed. Just get a site. Now we really bro. talking. <laughs> now I'm mad. All now you rappers really out there, all you SoundCloud rappers out uh, there that's just rapping to get money, go ahead, go to your local um community college and just get a psychiatric technician certificate, bro. You get paid over a hundred thousand no. dollars a month. And listen, you can figure out what you really want to do in life while you're doing that. Bro. No, fuck that. Don't waste your time doing that shit. If you don't give a fuck about it, don't don't take somebody's space who does give a fuck okay, about yeah. it. You okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. What I gotta Let say I, I also yeah it learned you clearly if there's a nigga out there, dear SoundCloud rapper, if you realize yeah. that you like putting words together, cool. Maybe you just can't rap. But take that talent and go somewhere else with it. Right Dear SoundCloud poetry. rapper, number two, you realize you can't rap? Cool. Maybe it's the beats you like. Maybe try some music production. You have the talent. You have the. You care about it. Why are you trying may, to rap? May I also say something? Go. Hit me. Stop disrespecting the art. Do the research. Understand what the fuck you're doing. Because... If like the you don't have to follow the rules per se, but you have to know what the fuck the rules are. How's there so many people want to rap, but nobody wants to write? And niggas don't I feel like but, my dad. But it's this not is even my dad's that, bro. Argument. It's not even that. They don't even know about rap. You start talking to these niggas about Rock Kim, about Wu Tang, and they're I'm like, I'm not even gonna what? take that path. That's yeah, we, 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 that no, 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 man. Like, that, I, respect the fucking no, art. No, no, we know that. We know that. We know that. But, but look, it. it uh, it's, so earlier you guys were talking about your last names, right? And yeah. you you do yours because you want your last name From to Paul. continue to mean to mean something, right? Yeah. Right. And you you said you know what's your last name, right? So me two things. I do this because I don't know if you noticed or not, but I probably have six or seven onks tattooed on me. Yeah. Right. Onks. Egyptian cross. Onk. Egyptian cross. Onk. Onk. Oh, he said. Onks. Right here. Onks. Right here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. You know I go on and on. Yeah. And the onk is everlasting life, right? Okay. Live, you know, lasting life. I mean, on my fucking neck. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have shit live fucking on. written on yeah. my fucking <laughs> neck. Um, I just want to to live forever, right? Not yeah. physically, but I want 
to leave an impression on this world. Right. You can't really do that at a corporate job because they can give two fucks about you. You know, most jobs. Any job. You fucking die that day, nigga. They will you know, replace your fucking spot uh-huh. the day after. Nigga, that's I why. Seen it. That's why. That's one of the reasons why I really quit Amazon because it's like, nigga, they don't give two fucks about me. Nah. Nope. You know, my son could be in a hospital, this and that, knock they on wood. And, and and let's say I don't have any more hours to give away, they don't care. They will still let me go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just want to be able to do something of importance. That way, like, well, my la- so my last name is Joins. For you guys who don't know, my last name is Joins, right? Mm-hmm. I, did- I didn't know my dad growing up. Never knew my dad, actually. My last name belongs to a man who fathered my brother before me. Right. Not same same dad, obviously, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And it means, it means jack shit to me. It <laughs> <Yeah>. means nothing. <laughs> that nigga it's doesn't just even... you write down on That's what I'm saying. That nigga don't even know I'm alive, probably. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he's ever met me. I'm Bitch, sure that nigga tried to kill my father. Yeah. <laughs> I've never met him, <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And um, it means nothing. Yeah. And uh, for the longest time, I've never liked my name. And I always thought it was my first name I didn't like. And so recently, I realized it was my last name. And I want to be able, like you talking about your last name, I want to be able to create a legacy for my son, for him to be proud of, for him to carry on a tradition. Right. Right. So I've kind of just taken, you know, I'm, I'm going to change my last name to kind of start over, start fresh, kind of start a new tradition. Right, right, right. Of, of you know, for my family that I have now myself, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and that's probably gonna happen in the next couple of months, or whatever. For sure. I go by it now, but yeah, you know. Like Are you, said, you debuting the name? Like, you well, just... it's, it's been debut. It's everywhere. You you look on all my social but, media. But you gotta Mr. Say Alexander. It, but you gotta... Alexander. There you go. You can Elijah build up that story. Alexander. Just... Alexander's the last name. Elijah <laughs> Alexander. It sounds like 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 a Alexander movie star. Like like it just sounds. So it what just does that flows. mean for your son? I you have to change his name too. Okay, all I don't right. know how that's yeah, gonna get I, done, but you know what? Yeah, it's gonna get it'll done. happen, bro. You know what I mean? Okay. And like my mom, she can't understand why I would want to do that. The, and it's funny because the reason I want to change it is the and reason. What's her take on it's it? It's just overall? you know, it's it's a last name. It's supposed to be strong. It's supposed to mm. mean something. But how how you want how you how want, I want, want my Alexander name, to that's be? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. she's <laughs> making that argument for joins when it doesn't mean shit to me. Okay. It doesn't and mean shit I don't to me. understand why she would be making that. Um, I don't either. I yeah, don't understand because it, sh- the last name's not even attached to her. Exactly, uh, it's not even attached to her, her, our family. You know what I mean? Interesting. So I I don't, I don't know either. You might have um, a lot of shit to unpack, buddy. Yeah, but that's, you know, for another yeah. day. But, uh, <laughs> Look, you see but, my new shoes? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, niggas, how niggas cope? <laughs> we should have revert back to our last episode. Trauma. <laughs> About trauma. Right? But nah, it's just when it comes down to jobs, I have a, a, a real funky relationship with it. Because Wait, yeah. speaking of jobs... You have only one fucking job. Please subscribe that to was this good. channel. Does it again? That, that Please again. How does subscribe. He do it? To we this don't channel. know. Like, share, subscribe, yes. and comment. Please, Please comment. fucking comment. That's all we you to comment. That's your only job. <laughs> Even if you don't, just just comment. Just write hi. How's it going, nigga? Call us a bitches. We don't care. Call them bitches for <laughs> <but> comments. <laughs> I'll call you a bitch back. He will. <laughs> do it for me all the time. Your, time no, out. This nigga will do, come in, to your front door. I'll jump into the comment section with <laughs> my front. Yep. Tell me how you really feel, Bitch. Beyonce fans. Nah. <laughs> hey, he's on his own, bro. Hey, I, he's on I, his I, own. I admitted I was wrong. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all <laughs> saw the episode. Uh, <laughs> shit. But, no, um, no, I'm just being Yeah, stupid. it's just funny. I have a real funny <laughs> relationship great. with jobs. Because, <laughs> like, nigga, because, nigga, I need money, right? Yeah. And, you know, but it's just, I, I need, I'm too creative to be contained to clock in, clock yeah, out, nine to box, five. That. Now, do you think it's possible to be in a relationship with someone who doesn't understand that? Fuck no. Nah, because no. they're always yeah. gonna be like, you lazy son of a yeah, bitch. No. Yeah, no. No, yeah. there's, because, bro, people like us, we, we, we are on a different time, right? Uh, there's the a lot of people. Clock there's a lot end. of people who probably wouldn't understand why you, why we, you know, quit our jobs or don't have a jobs, right? We really did all three. That's of what us. I'm saying. That's weird. You know, we and it's people can't jobs. understand. That's they won't weird. be able to understand, especially if you're in a relationship with somebody, bro, and they don't think the same way. Yeah. You know, I I can understand like them wanting to wanting you to have a job. Yeah, yeah. But them not understanding why you don't necessarily what, want to. Or, well, for them, they're just thinking about the comfortability that there is if you have a job i I think it's more so the the uncertainty of of the future you know yeah Yeah. but that same uncertainty is there is the fuel you don't have if you even if you do have a job though yeah that uncertainty is still right there it is that's a bar that's a bar so we'll go an example right hit me so rent is coming up in a couple 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 of days right facts nigga i have 
You just playing the. I have sixty dollars in my Ooh. account. Look, yeah. I have, Ooh, this I nigga have, Tyrone better not get his tires changed. <laughs> Look, I, I have sixty dollars in my account, right? Yeah, yeah. Planet Fitness just took twenty two dollars from my account. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't bro. be broke and fit, nigga. And bro, uh, <laughs> you ain't even bro. working out. But look, you know what I'm I have sixty dollars in my account. Uh, my girl doesn't work; she's still going to school, right? Right, right, right. She does work on the outside, but she's going to school, right? Yeah. So it's just like fucking a couple weeks. Thing I have to come up with, you know, x amount of money. Yeah. How the fuck are we gonna do that shit, right? I'm sure hustling, 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 hustling. Nigga, and then one real random morning, she checks her account and she got blessed with more than enough to pay the rent. Yeah, you know, and I took it as a sign, like you know, keep going. Keep, you know what I mean? Like maybe your foot in these like niggas' ass. <laughs> <laughs> keep Girl, going. Like, Cause we both we both couldn't understand like how we we're gonna get the, this rent paid, and just yeah. all of a sudden we were blessed with enough money to pay the rent Bruh. and all the bills and this and it's just yeah. like, bro, is this a sign, bro? Like from God, same thing like, like, just, happened to just me. Keep, like, just keep fucking hey, going, bro, like, bro. I, as soon as I started working on commissions and everything, bro, like. Like the uh, solutions to all my fucking issues started popping up. Yeah. So like, bro, the magic is in the work. Just keep doing the work that you're doing for yourself. It's in the passion. Even with the job, you still find a way to be broke. So why have the job? That, see, nigga, when Amazon got paid every week, <laughs> nigga. I was broken than I was when I was getting paid less. I told Daniel, how the fuck am I still broke? Nigga, I get paid more money. Paid every week. Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm That's still what I be broke. Telling so niggas. I was like, what's the point? That's what I be telling niggas. And I'm in a really, it's really interesting. When I have this discussion, I was talking to one of my good friends, uh, Jordan, today. I was referencing him on the last episode. Shout out to to um, Jeffrey. Yeah, shout out to Jeffrey. But uh, yeah, and shout out to Jeffrey. But um Jordan and I were talking about like we're we're two totally different people. Like Jordan understands the corporate world very yeah. well. Now imagine your thought process of like knowing how to finesse a job, give it steroids. <laughs> put a, put you around white people and make them a chemist. That's no, see, Jordan. That's, see, if I could find a job where I can finesse <laughs> oh, people, man. I would love it. I'd be the greatest at it, bro. But this is this as a is chemist. A bro, see, I don't know about it as a chemist. <laughs> <laughs> like that, I understand. Maybe a when, lawyer. When we have, when we have, right, <laughs> right. right. But, when we ha when we, but when we have discussions about jobs, it's like he he understands where I'm coming from, even yeah. though he takes the corporate ladder and everything, yeah. because he under he knows how to he knows how to that corporate space, and he knows how to turn it upside down yeah. and make it. The, how I think as an entrepreneur, but he knows how to do it in the corporate world. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And and the reason why he does what he does, he's like, it's not it. He, I, I, man, I really wish I can find a way I, to like is dial it, him in. Is but it, is it, I don't want to so see too much on his. Does story. he want to get people like us in those rooms? Is I, that why you think he? No, I, 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 I don't want to speak too much because it's, it's not necessarily it's a bad thing. But I want to, yeah. I want, want people to hear his take on it okay. because it's, it's so different. It's so, it's not like I just want to see more black representation. No, no. it's bigger than that. Yeah. So and Jordan, I, uh, come on, the come show. on the show, come on the show. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah. I think it's about yeah. Time. Honestly, <laughs> bro, yeah, 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 it's we'll figure it. it out. Yeah, man. So look, real quick, just if you want to come on the show, send us your submission videos. You gotta have Either three degrees, our, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Nah, send us a uh, send us a video of why you think you should be on the show. DM it to any one of us. We'll see what happens. Also, also, not mm. only that, but you have to have a topic within your video. Yeah, yeah. The video's got to be be of relevance. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Don't just send us a video of you doing anything. Yeah, yeah. we don't need to see your. TikTok. And again, we are all three happily married men, so don't be sending no crazy shit. Yeah. Please, I'm trying to make this relationship work. <laughs> Please. 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 Just, just go Bro, you know what's crazy? <laughs> I just got a test for guess who? Don't. Yeah, no. What are you saying? So <laughs> go back to your relationship and like, yeah. can can people yeah. be... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What no, about, it, it's it's so interesting because like in my relationship, uh, y'all very well know this is the most public I've ever fucking been. I know y'all like every two weeks y'all see, here yeah. goes Mo again, back on some bullshit. But like... Bullshit in a good sense, but like it's <laughs> um I forgot because usually it's in negative, but it's a positive yeah. connotation. But um, she's also creative and she's also in that space, but she does not have our level of struggle. Str not struggle. <laughs> not only struggle, but I I want to say our courageousness. Yeah, because we, we are we are stupidity and stupidity. And Honestly, courageousness. It's stupidity. Our level of stupidity. It's, stupidity, yeah. it's our yeah, level of stupidity yeah. because. Her platform alone, like I'm doing the numbers, she should have been quit it. Yeah, she should have been quit it. But like she, her reels, her reels can generate 3.1 million views. I said million niggas. I said million. 
why would I clock? I wouldn't clock back into work. If why are I'm, we even using our Instagrams, bro? Talk. Yo, Key, I'm about Key. to come hey. on the show. Come on the show. Uh, Key, come on the show. <laughs> Just post the video. Just post the video. You want to take my spot? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, like uh, like we have this discussion a lot because she's. I see her. I see her making that next step. Like I see it about to happen. Yeah. But if she's and Ooh, I know that she looks so at us sweet. and she's like, "How do these niggas do it with nothing? Like these niggas are like we haven't built our. Pl- it's not like we're building yeah. it and we jumped off. Like hey, you know what's that, crazy? It's that much trust. We we're not yeah, backed we, we by anything. We're building forward. a house with no foundation. No, nigga. bro, we ain't laid one brick. We None went to home. Brick. All of us went we to home. We got walls. Middle, but we got <laughs> walls and carpet and, and shit. Niggas, we're so like far. We went to Home Depot and looked at all the stuff you need to build a house. And we're like, fuck it. Let's just let's just start. Yeah. We didn't even. We don't we have. We didn't a get pl- no contractors. Nothing. We didn't read. How do you build a house? We Nothing. just started. We just started, and that, just I knew think what what land we wanted to use. And that's said, it, yeah. and that's all we needed, and that's what I say. So, how's the working relationship? For me, it's as long as you have a partner that's also in root, and that's really interesting. Even I, like I said, maybe you can speak more on it, but I, I from I see from the outside, it seems like your significant other. Is also, also on that same thing. shit, and like, that's why I said we gotta be yeah. the same mind. Because like Danielle, she she's literally like it, hustling. I, I was, we're, hustling. We're in the nigga. same boat. Look, hustling. You're right. She's absolutely hustling. We're in the same boat as far as building a foundation. Hers is maybe a little bit more built because she actually makes real money. Yeah. Like she could do Clients. one one wig, nigga, get three hundred dollars. Yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, I still haven't found a way to monetize. <laughs> I have found a way, but shut up, I nigga. Yeah, you, know, you have. Found yeah, a way, I have. But just, you know, yeah. More Ain't that, that crazy? More on that on Monday. Talking about you and your girl ma- both making money off braiding. That's hard, bro. <laughs> no, that's no, fucking no, tight, was, nigga. No, no, no. That's I fucking told, tight, no, no, nigga. No, no. I told Keith. I told her one of the things. Uh-huh. She's like, "Oh, who braided this?" I said, "Elijah." She said, Elijah knows how to braid. I said, Elijah knows how to do a fishtail. She said, he knows how to do a fishtail. I said, yeah. <laughs> she said, wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all about to have a beauty salon Literally. in this place. Literally. Like, <laughs> worst case scenario. Nigga. Hey, honestly, <laughs> look, honestly, if I just, <laughs> I never see if Keith I, do if that, If I nigga. studied a little bit harder, nigga, like, me, me, me and Dale will be a, a duo, a couple, nigga. That's, you no, know what I mean? That's literally what Keith said. She's like, they get one video of them doing somebody's head together Bro. as a couple. With the just, just y'all go own together. TikTok I'm for like three months. Bro, they will own TikTok in three months. Y'all gotta months. drop that video before the end of this month, bro. <laughs> now, like, nigga. it's three months. Oh right my now. gosh. Hey, that's funny that you but. say that. We, yeah. But you know, she she did what, she makes money, but we're still in the same boat trying to build a foundation, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's very entrepreneurial. Like she doesn't even want to work in a shop. Right, right. She wants to own her shop. That's right, smart. Because right, right. she's like, why would I rent when I rent that, a booth when exactly. I exactly? She about to have a yeah. shop at the house. She already yeah. got like a fucking barber chair. Come on now, nigga, she got it all. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. That's all you so, need. They can they sit? You got it. That's the thing. <laughs> we got a vanity mirror. You know what I mean? Yeah. She but already also, has clients that. Like come through and shit. Not just, like come through. No, I was they, here. They, they come, come through. through. Yeah, I was in this motherfucker. Come <laughs> through. And I, that's what I really like like about her, bro. Like she really does her shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just where her her journey specifically, bro. Like she was just uh, struggling a little bit through like the corporate sense of it. Like you know what mm-hmm. I mean? But she knew how to do hair. She loved yeah, it. She she that's wanted. It. It's like a Spanish kid taking. English uh, taking Spanish. You yeah. Know what I mean? Oh, you know what okay. I mean? That's okay. how I describe it. It's like, because it's like, you know how to speak it, but you don't know the you don't know how to, re- the you have rules. to refine it. You right. know what I mean, you have to refine yeah. it, and that's what she's doing now. But she's been doing her thing, bro. Yeah, honestly, you bro. Know? And that's why I can afford to not do, you know, not yeah to kind of take more risk because she one understands what it's like going through. Yeah, and yeah. she also. Has a way to like support me in those times where like where it gets you know, tough. Yeah, where it gets tough. You understand this? This shit is tough. You know? But uh, yeah, I think it's just that like you just gotta have somebody that supports you because y'all know my situation. She don't have to be here, right? Right, right. But exactly. she still tries to you know help me build me up. She tells me when my shit is ass. Yeah. She lets me know what I could do better. Like yeah. the other day, she was like, "I mean, your shit is good, but <laughs> in all honesty, you cut too many corners." I'm like, damn, you're yeah, right. Be so me all the time. you gotta, like, yeah, yeah, like, so you yeah, bro, need that. Bro, Keith told me that same. She's like, when are you gonna start caring? I said, bro. I almost said, nigga, what the fuck? But then you really stopped and Sorry, thought. I said, wait. Wait, you really stopped and looked and you were like, yeah. Where was I? Where am I now? So what wait, the fuck up? Danielle told you you cut corners? No, she just like, she, always. She, I told Danielle this yesterday, nigga. Okay. If I succeed in either of my ventures, bro, it's because of her. Yeah. Like all hands down, nigga. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's because of her. Mm. 
Like she be giving me ideas for the podcast, for writing. She be telling me you should do these colors and this and this and that. Like yeah. I don't know if y'all remember when I did um, the jade when I had making my jade necklaces, yeah. right? Yeah. Which I still could do, but they, which you still do. I'm saying, but still I still do. I just seen the one still you made do. last mm. week. Yeah, Bust she down. um mm-hmm. she wanted a specific necklace, right? What colors? I said, uh-huh. all right, I got you. I posted that. I had like six other people want colors just like hers. Yeah, you know what I mean. Women know, bro. Ain't they it just crazy? Know. The three of us have. Three great like supporting Come on. women, bruh. It, so I, I talked about that shit on my show, nigga. That that's if I wild. succeed in anything in life, Thank bro, God, it's because bro. of her. It's all mashallah, it's bro. Man. You feel me? Yeah, I did that for you because you know. You feel me? Yeah, nigga. My roommate named Muhammad. You feel me? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, he said what? <laughs> That's like me going into Psalms right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just start speaking tongues out of nowhere. What? What? Yeah. yeah, see, see, we even got some girlfriend appreciation in the episode. Yeah, That's cool. Man. It's just, you know, we weren't supposed to talk They're too much about- They're not going to watch this episode anyway. We, we yeah, weren't supposed right. to go oh, on this much this about, about sure jobs and this. shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm clipping this part too. Oh, like, you all, all of this. this. Yeah, all, all of us need to clip this shit. Just that one little 10 <laughs> second thing. Nigga. And I'm tagging her eight nigga. times, nigga. 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 We're going to take this part of the clip out, though. Yeah, right? We're going to cut this out. Of course, nigga. Production team going to do that. Production team, production team. No, we weren't supposed to talk this much about jobs and shit. this, by the way. Ha. We did. <laughs> hey. Hey. I just want to state that. But anyway, did this for you, bro. Yeah, yeah. We, we spoke that into existence. Oh my god. Yeah, we weren't supposed to talk about the jobs as much, so but it it affects us every day, you know. Mm. And I feel like we reach our target audience or people who mm. this would affect as well. Yeah. Right. You know. Hopefully, you those know, who have jobs. That's what I'm saying. Those, those who have jobs. I'm saying those who have jobs who don't necessarily need to quit be it. There are those who do have jobs who want to quit it. Like the the person that does your hair. You know. I just seen recently. Like. Oh. You know. She, she had a fuck my job party. Oh wow. Oh what? Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. Allegedly, when she quit. No, she quit pandemic. her last job. Nah, I know that she quit her job she to quit full time here. Yeah, yeah. And she had that. a fuck that job party. At her, oh shit. Yeah, wow. she That's literally dope. walked out and said, "Fuck y'all." Like once you think it's you, a what, movie. What was she? What was she? She was doing? a nurse. Oh shit. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck is we doing wrong, bro? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nah. Damn. You got me. I'm, that she, <laughs> yeah, she, is we, speechless. Bro, if you talk about somebody who you would love to just sit down and talk and chop it up with, bro, different. She's no, different. I know that just from just from the little conversation I had when she's at your house, bro. Bro, different. She's different, and that's what she said. She realized she was like, "Look, I don't know what's gonna happen next, but I know I know it's gonna be okay because I'm I. You just know it's all of our mindsets. Yeah, yeah. Just, all of our mindsets. Same thing with my trainer, bro. All of us. This nigga that, just started. That's why I'm so happy for Monday to come, bro. You know what I mean? Mondays. Hopefully, Monday's a very big day for me. Uh, I don't see why I couldn't. You guys, you, you guys will know. You should know. Oh, 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 fuck. That's Monday. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you should know, <laughs> nigga. I'm waiting on that. But, um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, the straps, nigga. nigga. I don't know what I'm thinking, talking about. I'm thinking. I thought, yeah, me yeah, too. I, I, was thought, like, I was like, I was like, already, nigga? Yeah, I was like, wow. Not already, but never mind. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. Oh. Nah, tomorrow we're supposed to find out some more info on that. That's what I'm waiting. That's we care. This Subscribe yeah. to the channel nigga, so you know what we're talking about. Our already bro, been yeah. going on. Yeah. I don't know. But for them, you know, I already for bought the ten fucking we units. We got a lot going on, yeah, bro. Nigga. We got a lot going <laughs> you on. We thinking about <laughs> sentimental <laughs> shit. You talking about some shrimp, nigga? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> God damn. He said you talking about some shrimp, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> nah. All right. Um, but yeah, like I said, we we've gone on on this. What I want to do, I mean, you guys, you guys are cool to to wrap things up. We got more more to talk about. We could hold um that. Honestly, what what's wrong? What what part? Just like just pre- if anything, it's a preview for another episode. Okay, um, so we could just talk about a little bit of the music. Oh yeah, shit! I, I did I did want. That's funny. <laughs> we're supposed to be a hip hop. Yeah, <laughs> right. We're supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're hip-hop, supposed hip-hop. to be. They, oh, they want to see a social. You know? Bars. <laughs> I I did want to speak more about LeBron. Uh, making a fucking album. Okay, so the thing about that is LeBron is secretly everybody's A and R, bro. Secretly, he's he was like the executive producer on Two Chains album. Yep. Drake sends him every song he makes, nigga. Right, right. And nigga, what? Growing up, coming in the league, he was sitting in the studio with Jay Z. So he knows a little something about music. Yeah. When I think an album, it's definitely gonna be a compilation album. Do you remember um, 
got wait, it just dawned on me what you saying. This nigga LeBron has a compilation album coming no, together. That I think that's what he's doing. Nigga, so on his dead. show, The Shop. That, on his show, why, sh- that's why I could understand. Like, on his why? show, like, The why? Shop. Listen, he was talking to Drake, and he was like, "Yeah, I might just say fuck it, fuck doing a documentary. When I retire, I want to have an album." And then he was like, "Shit, you might be the one to do it." So like, yo, hip hop is dead. If hip hop, so yo. Yo, like really no I'm hip-hop just being dramatic different, okay. nigga. Hip-hop it is, is different. different it is different which reverse back to earlier episode no it's just white I don't, I don't think so it's okay just, but in this terms many, though I think this is the most hip hop thing it, uh, LeBron James album like Drake making it like rapping an album based off LeBron's life okay I think that's hard wait wait no I don't you think don't that's going no no what he's talking about is definitely no, I, a compilation but album. why why I don't, he why? loves music I, no why? Say it, Elijah. I don't understand. <laughs> Thank you. Why? <laughs> I can understand if the question was why not. Okay. I mean, he's got right. a bunch of money. Yeah. Why not? I'm a billionaire. But why? Right? But why? Why do you? Why does anybody seem? Why does that? Why does that have to be necessary? Why do people keep fucking up hip hop? Why does? Why does? This why does he need, think it's okay to do that? Why does he have to make a? a <laughs> thing? God, why doesn't he go why? design some clothes? Why doesn't he go? I do want to see the, why, LeBron nigga. You have a Nike <laughs> deal. Do it like, bro. Like, do something with Nike for why basketball, do, bro. And I'm not. And I'm not saying this is not a whole nigga. Just Y'all niggas are saying shut up and dribble. No, see, I was about to say that. I was no. about to say this is not a shut, shut up, up and dribble, dribble because thing. niggas already rap, bro. You know what I mean? But it's like, nigga, why make a compilation? You unless you, unless he's actually going to rap on the fucking album. I mean, unless he's he just makes an album it. himself. Can yeah, okay, cool, nigga. But why make a compilation album of you have other an issue artists for with what? Him curating an album? Yes. Yes. God. Yes, because you know why? This is my that issue. He, okay, this is my he's issue. He's not producing. No, he's not rapping. No, no, it's not even. It's, it's deeper that's than that. It's, it's, that's my issue. Okay. That's your issue. It's deeper than that. I refuse to let that become a trend with Ooh. pop stars. And you know it's going and, and to be. Once he does it, you know it's going to be a trend. It, we're going to have, who have no, when, nothing in music when, are going to start making fucking compilation and albums. T- what's his name? Damien. Damien. Who else Dame raps? Damien Lil- Lillard. It would make sense. Make sense. Okay. Okay. Right, Give right. me another one. Tiana Taylor's Tiana husband. Tiana Taylor's husband. Right. Hey, he's nice. Bro. He, he nice. is, he is yes. nice. Yes. Why not test yes, would make sense? Those are examples of people who should be rapping. LeBron James. Great man. I love your family. Get the fuck out of hip hop. Get the fuck out of hip hop, bro. Get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm not going to say that, we bro. We want bars, nigga. Raps, nigga. If you're not I, giving I, us raps. I only give LeBron the benefit of the doubt because of how closely entwined no. with hip hop. No, no. no. Wait, do, you, do y'all remember the Sprite song he had with Drake, Eminem, Kanye? Who else was on that? That's the problem. Stop right there. He's not like rapping, bro. There's rappers in See, the NBA look, who can rap, nigga. Bro, my issue, if I this nigga that. doesn't contribute musically to this fucking album, then he doesn't no produce point. anything. If he doesn't rap anything, nigga, there's no point for this nigga to make a fucking <laughs> album. album. <laughs> there's no point for this nigga to make an album you, if he's not contributing to the fucking album musically, nigga. <laughs> But I mean, I like some of the LeBron plays. <laughs> the <laughs> fuck does he know about hip hop? <laughs> what the fuck does he know? What is that? Well, bro. niggas use his name in rap so much. Like, no, you know, I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Bro, I'm but playing. that's what I'm not, it's not even a slide on LeBron, bro. Yeah, it's on anybody who's not like I. Even Loki have some issues when like DJ Khaled does it. Right, I but assume he's he's producing some of the music in he, there. That's where, but you he's know what literally I mean? a DJ. He's making I the music. Yeah. He's a DJ. He's in it, literally right? a DJ. Yeah. You know what I mean? But nigga. LeBron doesn't he doesn't rap. So how he about this? Produce. How about this? What if over the next few weeks we see LeBron on an NPC giving us the craziest beats ever? Would y'all feel a little I'd be better more okay about with it? it? I'm shifting. I'll but I'm still okay. you still not gonna be all the way there, but oh, you'll be fuck like, no, eh, fuck okay. no. Because I, I, I cause, wouldn't cause because I, like why? Why? I'll, and I'll say this. You're getting ready for retirement. I see what this is. Because okay. you could have been doing this, bro. The only reason I have an issue because there's niggas who can rap, who can hoop and, and rap. You want you want to give want, them the high, yeah. bro. I you, understand that, and like I bro, and and their bars y'all, are getting. Y'all should really fuck with Dame Dollar. He, he really is a rapper. Rapper, yeah. Imani Shumper, bro. That BET rapper. Hey, he, hey, nigga, rapper. I play hey. that back sometimes. <laughs> hey. I play that back sometimes. <laughs> Raps, bro. Raps. And that's crazy. I would never think, yo, like this is an NBA player. Like, let me but know. then you look at his wife, and then it makes sense. Yes. I know. I do look. Yeah, you're right. I look at his wife and I'm like, that's that part makes of sense. the reason why you yes. like this nigga. He's an artist. He's an artist. Okay. He just happened to know how to hoop. 
He just happened. So I, we did, and just, I, I think I, you're I, born I, as an artist. I think if you ask me, you're born you, as an artist. You are you just, born as an artist. It, some people yeah. just happen to do other things. You know, it's, I want to talk more about this on a, on a uh, next episode. I was watching a Tyler and ASAP Rocky interview where they talk about like niggas don't when respect just rappers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I kind of understand why they would have an issue with it because like with basketball players, nigga, like sometimes I'd be like, nigga, you're a basketball player. Don't rap. Or you should have been a rapper, even though, like you said, mm. there are basketball players, nigga, who actually are good at rap. rap. Yeah. Word flows you know what I mean? vicious. Who are actually really good. Like they could have a successful career in rap if they chose to be a rapper instead of yeah. a hooper. Yeah. You know? So I want to talk more about that. But with LeBron, bro, not even just LeBron, just anybody who's not in music. Like if you're just not contributing, if you're not contributing either rapping or making a beat, like there's no point. And the issue I'm gonna have is that when it's debuted, bro, it's going to be the top of the charts. It's going to take it's a going spot. To get so it's going much to get Macklemore. It's going to get Macklemore. Just not forget. I think it's gonna win a Grammy. I'm not saying it's not gonna win get, a but, Grammy, but, but understand. Hey, but time out. This is a kid, real question. But that. That it, it could possibly possible. it can for take what? a spot. LeBron's not even But that's the problem. And you see what I'm saying? Like it qualifies. It, that's the it reason. It qualifies. Bro. And that's the problem. Like, understand, we okay. watch good kid Mad City lose to Thrift Shop. Not just Good Kid Mad City. I really hate that song, Thrift Shop, for a lot of other reasons. And I will speak on it in an upcoming paper. <laughs> there you go. Blog post. But I, yeah. But you but, see, but that's all LeBron's gonna do. Yeah. My, and you understand. It, it, what's it, what's a rapper that we're respecting? Like who, who give who actually has bars right now? Young, upcoming, up and coming. Little baby. Oh, YBN Cordae. YBN Cordae. Yeah. YBN no, Cordae. It's just Cordae. Oh, Cordae. Cordae. Oh, Cordae. Cordae. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Other niggas, I'm, no sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Cordae. I'm just sorry. Cordae. 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 He's he's coming up. He's on tr his trajectory. He has another album coming up in the next forty eight months. Yeah. I can see it. Okay. Right, in the next four months we're going to see another Corday project. Some nigga said he's living his dream life. Yeah, nigga being got a house husband. <laughs> nigga, that nigga Man, won. Third girl make forty million. I seen that today. Nigga, the he said he saw his girl make forty million. So the YBN raps. niggas, y'all be easy. <laughs> y'all be good. Y'all be easy. Oh, y'all want this YBN back? <laughs> Take it. I'm For a real. tennis dad yeah. now, <laughs> bro, bro. But seriously, hey, did his girl just beat Serena Williams? Oh uh, no, I think they're a. About to no, they already played. They did because I I seen a tweet where they said uh, Serena Williams always she... brings her A game. You, you say that when when person, somebody loses, right? Yeah, yeah. And then congratulations to oh yeah, you no, know she did. yeah, it's crazy. Interesting. That's cool. yeah, that nigga crazy. won. But anyways, I'm saying yeah, like he he's due for an album for eight months. LeBron's yeah. gonna drop something for eight months. Now we forgot one of Corday's raps. Because this nigga LeBron and has money. Let's call it what it is. It is. It's money. It's just pe it's <laughs> people. Shit, Corday got money now too. Look, it's people, yeah, who, it's have, it's it's people who have money and who are yeah. ultimate fans of hip hop trying like crossover into hip hop. Yeah. Not really. Don't have a resume. You know what in else this translates? Bro. Not to really. Not a big me, one. For me, this translates to people who have money who become sneakerheads. Exactly. Yes. Not exactly. sneakerheads who get money. Exactly. I see. I like see. somebody said, like, I'll exactly. say, bro, like, when he came in the game, he was just designer. Designer yeah. to designer. Yeah. Then he got money and bought a bunch of sneakers. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, my, my only, my only, um, gripe. I'm trying gripe. to, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to find a big word to fill yeah. it. My, my, my only issue. Discrepancy. My, Discrepancy. Not the, not the right. My only issue. Damn, um, the issue? Damn, we gave him yeah, two good ones. I know. My only is yeah, my only is there's a specific the word that oh, I'm trying to think of okay. that, I can't, that, that I can't say. Him, but Bob, nigga, said, there's a specific <laughs> my only issue with this whole LeBron thing is why. Yeah. If somebody yeah. can answer the why for me, and, and besides, you know, he just like hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> I because like, he can. Yeah. You know what I mean, nigga? If somebody can answer the why for me in that, bro, then I'd be like, maybe All I'd right. be interested. Fair. I Fair. See. You know what I mean? But yeah, all yeah, I can okay. say is he got money. He got money, and, and he, he has like rap, and he has access to Speaking all these people, rap, right? You yeah. Wrap it up. Bro, this is the dream. Hey, speaking about wrap it up, Dave Chappelle just got his show back on saw, on Netflix. I saw. Oh, I had a little a little thing on YouTube that I watched today, bro. Yeah. Yo, Netflix really was fucking with him, bro. They really? said you, they they're like, yeah, you know what? We'll take your show off. Cool. Yeah. Pay Renegotiate nigga, the contract. Pay nigga millions. Wow. And then now it's back on Netflix. Wow. And you know HBO what? Max. Let hey, go. can we clap it up for Netflix? Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's the greatest thing to do during Black History Month. Bro, bro. That's Art, the yeah, biggest nah, W they, of Black real History Month. Real, real nigga award. Real nigga award goes to Got his fucking Netflix. name back. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's real great for him. That's beautiful. Man. HBO Max, we watching. My I just canceled now. my Netflix uh, subscription. I'm, I'm on the verge of canceling my Netflix. I ain't going to front. Oh, I already bro. HBO did. Max, $17.99? HBO like Max. Dick. I don't even pay for it. But HBO <laughs> Max, they got the show. That the should show. be their fucking tagline. They got, we got the shows. <laughs> I know um, nothing. But we about to get up out of here. We've probably talked your <laughs> ear off long enough. 
Um, again, like, subscribe, comment. Look out on 92 Degrees on Instagram on Monday. is a big surprise for y'all. You're... Y'all got anything y'all want to plug real quick before we get out? Yeah. Oh. Uh, hoodie's still available. Cone Thrift. Stay, short, stay tuned to my uh, Instagram live, 10 at 10. I go live every 10 a.m. Wake my roommates up. Yeah. I still be asleep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but WLW, we got the pre-orders coming soon hey, for the new hats. Hey, good. good, good. You good. see these pants? I just made these pants last night. Oh, mm-hmm. we didn't even talk about. Oh yeah, our real cops. quick before we get up out of here, mm-hmm. I want to give a shout out to my beautiful cousin. I love uh, her uh, so much. She done plugged the young nigga. Uh, shout out to my beautiful mama Look, for I don't these know if y'all can see this or not, but these are Travis Scott Dunks. These shout out to my girl, the vintage single stitch 1994 Batman Six Flags T. Nobody can <laughs> fuck. Wait, hold on. Nobody can fuck with me. Batman UGD. You know what I'm saying? On phone now. <laughs> shout out full size run. Come on the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, Come on the show. Yeah. All right, y'all. Thanks for rocking with us. Uh, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And remember, stay happy and stay optimistic, motherfucker. And the serve. <laughs>